German Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck said only a couple of months ago that Germany needs to revamp its energy systems at Tesla speed. There was a recent article on Clean Technica asking the question, will Tesla's new factory in Germany give them an unfair advantage? And the answer is unfair? No. Advantage? Absolutely. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you here. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Great to have you. We're nearly at 70,000 subscribers. So that's the goal. I'll be stoked when we get there. And if you can help me out with that, that would be awesome. As electric vehicles take hold of the market globally, everywhere. I mean, look at China, right? First quarter of this year, Shanghai, one of the world's biggest cities, 30 million people, 50%, 40, I think it was 48.5% of all cars sold were electric. That is what I call disruption happening at lightning fast pace. The media is not even talking about it. They don't even care. They're like it's China, who cares? We don't care. We don't, we don't want to know about it. Europe, yeah, Europe, yeah, yeah, they love EVs, but you know, we're only talking about America here. Now, you know, the American media are very American centrist. They love to talk about things happening in the United States. So people in the US don't realize what's really, well, not, I know some of you do, but many of you don't realize what's really going on globally. And that is a disruption that is smacking legacy auto right in the face, it's hitting them so hard, they don't know what to do about it. They're just saying, oh, it's a, it's, no, no, believe us, it's, a, it's just a chip shortage. Well, it doesn't matter what it is, it's a disruption happening at an insane scale. Now, Volkswagen is in trouble. I've made a video on that. If you haven't seen that video, you need to check it out. Why are they in trouble? They have 50% of their profits globally, 50% of their profits come from China. Their market share in China is shrinking rapidly. Why? Because customers in China no longer want Volkswagen vehicles. They're not looking for even Volkswagen EVs. They want, what do they want? Chinese EVs and Tesla EVs. That's the truth. That's primarily what they want. I'm not saying everyone, I'm saying the majority. Currently, right, electric vehicle sales in Europe are at heading at a similar pace to what they are in China. They're not quite as fast. The transition is not quite happening as quickly. Why? One reason. European automakers are not prepared. They're not prepared in the way that Chinese electric vehicle automakers are are prepared and have been prepared for years. So what does that mean? What does that mean for Tesla in Europe? Can they disrupt the market in a way that should be scaring legacy auto? Well, Carlos Ghosn, right? The so-called disgraced fugitive who's currently hiding out in Lebanon. Well, he's not really hiding. I mean, he's not, you know, he can walk around the streets there and no one cares because technically there's no extradition treaty and no one in Lebanon thinks he's guilty. They think he's a legend. Anyway, my point is he just said, within the last few days, that legacy automakers should be very, very scared of Tesla. And he includes Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW, Renault, all those automakers in that list. He says one of the big reasons, one of the big problems they have is their shareholders, their management, their ingrained power structures don't want to change. That's what he said. He says their power structures don't want to change. And in addition to that, when they eventually do change, they have to write off hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars of losses in existing plant equipment, in existing factories, which are no longer going to be useful. So yes, Tesla has that big advantage. They don't have that hanging over their heads. It's like dragging a chain, a huge, heavy chain behind you in a 100 meter race. Are you gonna win? Currently, Tesla trails vehicle sales across Europe by a narrow margin when it comes to EVs. However, the US automaker's new Gigafactory in Berlin will change that. Some say, well, one of those people that says that is who? Herbert Dies himself. He says it, right? He says things are going to change for Tesla here. We're in trouble, basically. It's essentially what he's saying. He's saying it takes us 30 plus hours to build an EV takes Tesla 10 hours. That comes out of Herbert Deese's mouth. No one else's. Herbert Deese himself said that to his employees and his staff when he got Elon Musk to talk to them, to try to encourage them to accept the fact that the future is electric cars. That's admirable, but it's also scary. Tesla could take back EV market share in Europe overall with its new Gigafactory in Berlin once production has ramped up according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. And for now, it's just getting started. But once it ramps up production at the Grunheide German facility, 
Many believe it could give Tesla an unfair advantage in the European auto market. Now, it's not a belief, right? It's not a, it's not a, like, it's not like believing in the Buddha or believing in Muhammad or, you know, picking a religion. This is not belief here. It's a fact when Herbert D says Tesla can make an EV three times as fast as they can. Three times as fast. It's a fact that Tesla makes a massive industry-leading profit on its vehicles. It's a fact that Legacy Auto, as far as we know, we don't know if they make any profit. None of them have disclosed whether or not they make a single dollar of profit from any EV they sell. For all we know, they could be losing money on every electric car. Considering the comments we're hearing from people like Stellantis' the CEO and BMW's CEO, Oliver Zips, it sounds as though they don't want to sell EVs because they can't compete on price. With who? With Tesla. EVs are gaining traction rapidly across Europe. It's what people want. There's a reason why Volkswagen has 400,000 pre-orders. It's not for internal combustion engine vehicles. It's for EVs. Right now, EV sales account for one in six vehicles sold in Europe in Q4 of 2021. However, in 10 different markets, they have more than 20% market share. Tesla led EV sales in Europe as early as 2019, though it has trailed Volkswagen and Stellantis ever since, save for a few countries. In 2021, say Clean Technica, Tesla held a 14% share of EV market sales in Europe behind Volkswagen and Stellantis at 25 and 14.4% respectively. However, Volkswagen is, well, what are they doing? Slowing down, believe it or not. Now, you might not think so, but it's actually true. Over the last three quarters, Volkswagen's delivery numbers weren't too bad. It looked as though they were ramping up. However, first quarter of this year, their electric vehicle deliveries were lower than those previous three quarters. And they were overtaken as the world's second largest EV manufacturer by who? BYD. And it wasn't even close. The gap seems to be growing between Tesla and Volkswagen. And also even between BYD and Volkswagen. In other words, Volkswagen is losing market share. To who? Well, you know who it is. In addition, the recent opening of Gigafactory Berlin marks a major shift for Tesla. Where it was once shipping cars from its Gigafactory Shanghai to customers in Europe, it can now ship German cars made directly to customers across the continent. That will save the car that will save Tesla probably around about five thousand dollars per vehicle in terms of shipping costs alone. The effect will not only increase the pressure put on other automakers in Europe, such as Volkswagen, Stellantis, Renault, BMW, and Mercedes, but it will also increase the number of cars Tesla can actually deliver throughout Europe, while simultaneously freeing up Shanghai to increase output to China and neighboring countries. For example, here in Australia, right? We don't even have the Tesla Model Y at all. And the Tesla Model 3 takes up more than 80% electric car market share in Australia. There's a 12-month waiting list for the Model 3 from China. Prior to establishing Gigafactory Berlin, say Clean Technica, Tesla already became the most sold auto brand overall in Norway last year, as detailed by Reuters, with overall EV sales jumping to 65% of the country to make them more commonly sold than gas cars. The Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 were by far the highest selling models. Beyond individual countries, Tesla's building facility will help Tesla reclaim the EV market in Europe. It is inevitable. It's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. The other good thing about this is, hey, if you don't like Tesla, just think about this, right? The good thing is, what matters more than the brand on the front of the car is that it's electric, right? Think about it. Do you really enjoy being surrounded by millions of cigarettes, which is essentially what cars are, right? Internal combustion engine, gas vehicles, and diesel vehicles, they're just basically gigantic cigarettes driving around, right? Open your window when you're in traffic, and just drink in that smell. It's killing you. It causes cancer. Volkswagen can be one of the most affected automakers in the years to come. And Chief Executive Herbert Deese has been vocal about Tesla's growing dominance over the past few years. Deese recently noted the US automaker's significance amidst US automaker's establishment of Giga Berlin. And he said, Tesla for sure will be our most important competitor. He also said, Neo and Xpeng are coming for them as well. He said that a couple of weeks ago. Still. 
Other automakers are starting to take steps to shift more quickly to an EV focus, like Volkswagen, who announced plans in March to invest $2.2 billion in an EV plant in Wolfsburg, Germany, as reported by Bloomberg. However, that factory won't come online and start producing vehicles until, well, around about 2026. It's a lot of market share to lose over the next four years. For what was the world's second largest electric vehicle company at the start of this year, it may drop to the fourth largest by the end of the year. It's already dropped to third. Volkswagen's chief brand, who is kind of its pseudo CEO, seeing as Herbert Dees has been kind of uh, put on the back seat because he's too supportive of EVs, said the German automaker is strengthening and sustaining the competitiveness of the main plan and giving the workforce a robust long-term perspective, whatever that means. Dubbed Trinity by Volkswagen, the Wolfsburg plant is shooting for a production time of just 10 hours per vehicle. They're trying to emulate Tesla. This is in an attempt to become more efficient, right? Well, the thing is, right now, Volkswagen are hoping that by 2026, they'll be able to make an EV as fast as Tesla. What's going to happen between now and 2026 at Tesla? How much more efficient will they become? Right now, Tesla makes by far the biggest margins or profit per vehicle sold than any other automaker on the face of planet Earth. Those margins may, instead of shrinking, only expand as Tesla continues to profit from what? Economies of scale, more efficient production, working out ways to make more money from more customers all over the world. Now, obviously, Tesla having a German factory is not unfair to Volkswagen. This is capitalism at play. Volkswagen has a factory in the US. Clearly, this article was tongue in cheek, right? It's not unfair. But there's probably a lot of people that will be fired over the next few years working for German Legacy Auto. And many of them are probably going to think, yeah, this is unfair. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And as always, have a fantastic day. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.